Hi everyone, it's MJ, and in this video, I want to talk about Komogorov's backwards differential equation. So earlier we've spoken about his forward differential equation, now we're looking at the backwards differential equation. And it's given by this statement here, saying the derivative of the transitional matrix is equal to the generator matrix times the transitional matrix. So if you want to know what those matrices are, we spoke about it in the previous video. This is your transitional matrix. This is your generator matrix. And the big idea was that your transitional rates are your derivatives of your transitional probabilities. So using that theory that we've spoken about earlier, let's look at the Kolmogorov's backward differential equation. And another way of looking, yeah, like we said, this is the transitional matrix, this P of T. Uh, you can think of it as the matrix of all the various probabilities. So what we can do is we can almost write out each of those probabilities as the following equation. So we can say the derivative of each of the probabilities is going to be the sum of k element of s of the force going from state i to k times the probability of going from state k to j over time t for all states i, j elements of s. Now, this is very abstract. It's like, okay, well, what's, what's going on? Um, so what we're going to be doing is let's look at some examples, and that should help you understand this Kolmogorov backwards differential equation. So first thing I want to do is let's look at going from healthy to having the coronavirus. So let's maybe just bring up what our uh, transitional diagram is as well as our generator matrix. Now what we're going to be doing in discussing this is using this Kolmogorov's backwards differential equation to kind of explain or figure out what these probabilities are. So what we're saying here is the derivative of the probability of going from healthy to corona over time t is equal to negative the sum of getting the coronavirus and dying times the probability of going from healthy to corona over time t plus the rate of becoming uh, infected times the probability of staying with the coronavirus over time t. So Let's maybe look at that again. The transitional rate of getting corona over time t, okay? So what is the probability that we're going to get the coronavirus over time t given that we're healthy? Well, it's going to be the same as staying healthy and then getting the disease. So the rate of staying healthy times the probability of getting corona over times t plus the rate of getting corona times the probability of staying sick over time t. Let's look at another example where we go from healthy to dead. And the idea here is that we can go from healthy to dead three ways, okay? We can stay healthy and then die. We can die and then stay dead. And we can get the coronavirus and then die. So there are three things that we need to take care of. And let's maybe talk about that. So the transitional rate of dying over time T is equal to the rate of staying healthy times the probability of dying over time t when healthy, plus the rate of getting corona, times the probability of dying over time t when infected, plus the rate of dying when healthy, and then staying dead, which has got a probability of 1. Um, another one that we can look at is what happens when we are staying healthy. So if we're staying healthy, then we have, well, first of all, we denote it by drawing a line over HH. And what that line overwards means we're always. So it's the rate of always remaining healthy over times T is equal to the rate of staying healthy times the pop probability of remaining healthy over time T. So if we come back to our graph, we stay healthy and that's it. We're not moving to corona and we're not dying. So that's why it's a lot simpler. Um, it's the rate of staying healthy times the probability of remaining healthy over time t. Now this probability of remaining in the healthy state over time t is also known as our survival probability. 
Remember, this is something that we spoke about way in the beginning of TPX. So it is a survival probability. Now, one of the things that we can do about survival probabilities is we can say that they're equal to the following. Um, this is using the Kolmogorov differential equations. Now, you might be saying, well, what does that lambda i stand for? Essentially, lambda i is going to be equal to the sum of all the other transition rates, or it's equal to the negative uh, transitional rate of staying in the state. Um, so think of lambda i as the total force um, of transitions out of state i. Now, this can be useful because we can use it for uh, various things. For instance, because if we had to, let's say, look at this over here, that should remind you a little bit of the exponential distribution. We can see here, the distribution of remaining in state i is exponential with lambda equal to lambda i. And because it's exponential, we know quite a few things about it. For instance, we can now calculate the expected remaining time in state i is going to be equal to 1 divided by um, lambda i. Now, the probability of, let's say, moving to corona or when leaving the healthy state is given by the following formula. It's the rate of getting coronavirus divided by the force of mortality plus the rate of getting the coronavirus. And we can then also estimate these rates um, using the following formula. It'll be the random number of transitions from healthy to corona divided by the random waiting time in state I. And essentially, this is Markov jump processes. It's a very much an introduction. Like I say, I do expect you guys to now go through the notes, read it for yourself, and you will see that, okay, this is what all of this stuff means. Um, I've got a bit of an introduction. Let me now yeah, go read through the notes and fill up any other blanks that come in and attempt some past paper exam questions. And that very much ends off the Markov jump process video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.